Professor Seiler is one of the most renowned surgeons of our time. He has six doctor titles, honorary fellowships of the Colleges of London and Edinburgh, and has received significant awards for his scientific and clinical contributions to the field of aesthetic craniomaxillofacial surgery. Dear organizers of this meeting, dear colleagues, dear donors and supporters of the cleft children of the world, dear directors of our centers here in India, dear ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me to welcome you to this important meeting here in India. As you know, my foundation, Cleft Children International, runs five centers here. Up to now, we have treated almost 42,000 children and also adults with clefts, but also with severe craniofacial anomalies. Our foundation is a teaching foundation, one of the goals of my foundation, and this is laid down in the Constitution, is education of doctors and professionals which work in the field of clefts and craniofacial anomalies. Up to now, we have trained 200 fellows in structured programs. We are proud that we follow international protocols also my own protocol, to have a high standard. It's not only that we want to achieve high numbers. No, we want to achieve especially quality. For the sake of our patients, when we train quality to our trainees, then this has a future. In this context, I would like to mention that our foundation is stimulating and encouraging our co-workers, especially our trainees, to do scientific work in the field of clefts. Every year, every center publishes important data on cleft treatment, and these data are published in international journals. This is also the reason why we encourage the participation in meetings like this one here in Bangalore. We have sponsored 150 colleagues and professionals for this meeting because we believe that the growth of knowledge in this field is as important as the practical work. It will also stimulate all people in our societies for cleft work to publish, because we have to analyze our results and increase the quality of everything what we are doing. In this spirit, I wish you all a very successful and fruitful scientific meeting and I regret very much that I could not be here with you in person. All the very best. Professor Seiler always had the vision to give millions of people with congenital facial deformities in developing and emerging countries more humane looks and thus to integrate them into society. For Professor Seiler, this is a contribution to harmonize the differences and injustice of nature. It is the commitment for a happier life, of people who are victims of prejudice and who receive little or no love and affection. For that reason, he founded Cleft Children International. The foundation helps children with anomalies who are excluded from society because they are marked by a facial cleft. In India alone, there are millions of cleft children. Depending on when the disorder developed during pregnancy and how stressful this was, different forms exist. The causes of these malformations result from a complicated mixture of endogenous and exogenous factors. Poverty in combination with a lack of vitamins and a one-sided vegetarian diet can lead to an increased risk of facial cleft formation, an alarming prospect considering one-third of India's population still lives below the poverty line. Clef Children International helps rescue these children from their desperate and humiliating situation. 
in India where the relief organization has successfully established the first four multidisciplinary treatment centers, the CCI team has already carried out more than 42,000 treatments. This can only be achieved by a continuous transfer of knowledge, initiated by the Foundation. In order to ensure this, Professor Silo regularly visits all the centers and gives lectures and training courses for the CCI doctors operating locally. Of course, when you have a shunt, even has always to be very careful when you do something and concerning enlargement of a skull. Because with the shunt, then the brain does not expand if it works. All medical histories, examination reports, x-rays, jaw models and photos are registered in detail and filed in a medical database. This is controlled by CCI in Zurich so that an optimal, professional and traceable treatment of every single cleft child can be guaranteed. The sites Mangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai and Mumbai have become the epitome of a high international standard in the field of reconstructive face surgery. In these centers, about 3,000 to 4,000 operations can be performed annually. Only in more difficult cases do the doctors need Professor Seiler's advice. Um, then, when you look at her profile, then you see that this part, the upper part of the mid-face, is further retruded than the lower part. Satya had Cruzon's disease, which needed advancement of the whole mid-face. In such cases, not only a Lefort 3 needs to be performed, but also a Lefort 1, when it comes to individual treatment of the infraorbital part and the tooth-bearing part of the mid-face. The successful result of the surgery provided her with new opportunities. She's now studying in college. More than 180 Indian doctors, nurses and medical assistants have received sound information thanks to Cleft Children International. They now have all the necessary qualifications to pass on their knowledge and expertise to others. Cleft Children International will continue to grow, helping children all over the world find their rightful place in society and above all, a hopeful prospect for their future.